All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about ordering fractions, decimals, and percents. You're going to go ahead and need to have graphic organizer number four. This is side two. It looks like the picture shown above right here. Um, your objective for this video is as a student, you should be able to order those fractions, decimals, and percents. So from least to greatest or greatest to least. All right, on your graphic organizer, there's already two specific steps for you, and they're really easy. Um, the first step says convert the fraction decimal and percents to decimals for easy comparison and then order from least to greatest to greatest to least. That's all it is. So we're going to go ahead and show you how that works. So it says, example number one, go ahead and put them in order from, sorry I went a little bit too far, put them in order from least to greatest. So here we go. First thing I said is you need to go ahead and put them all into decimal form. Well the first one is not in decimal form, but the second one is. So the second one is 0 0.8. So we're going to go ahead and leave that one. Now, 3 fourths, we need to turn that into a decimal. We have a fraction. How do we turn a fraction into a decimal? Well, if we don't already know this one, we need to divide. 3 divided by 4. 4 goes into 3 zero times, but I need to add a decimal and a zero. Okay? 4 goes into 30 seven times. 7 times 4 is 28. I subtract and I get 2. Now, I still have something left over. I can't have a remainder unless it repeats. So I'm going to add another 0. How many times is 4 going to 20? And that would be 5. So 5 times 4 is 20. So I subtracted and I turned that into a decimal. And that one is 0.75. All right, so far I have two of them. 60%, how do you turn a decimal, or sorry, a percent into a decimal? Well, you take off where the percent is and you put a decimal and you move it two places to the left. And that would be 0.6 or 0 0.60, either one. And finally, we have one half. What do we do with that one? Well, we divide as well. One divided by two. Put our decimal and our zero. Two goes into ten. How many times? Well, it's five. Five times ten is ten. Or five times two is ten. Subtract. We get zero. So our answer for that one is 0.5. So now we have these four decimal numbers. They're easy to compare when we have decimals. Remember, any time you compare decimals, the easiest way to do that if you're not positive is very simple. It's to line them straight up and down. So we're going to go ahead and do that at this time too. We have 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, and 0.5. If I'm going to line them straight up and down, I also should add some zeros as placeholders so that they're easy to compare. All right, well, let's look at these four numbers right here. We need the one that's the least. Well, the one that is the least is the one that says 50. 50 is the least, and that goes with one fit or one half. So one half needs to come first. Remember, when you order, you have to use the original numbers. Okay. The strategy is turning them into decimals. So we have one half. The next one is 0 0.6, okay, which is 60%. If you look at it right here, it's 60%. So we're going to go with 60%. The next one is going to be 0.75 because 75 is less than 80, which is the 3 fourths. And finally, the last one is 8 tenths. Okay, so it was your own 8 tenths. And that's your answer. Least to greatest. Make sure you circle it. Make sure we can see it. All right, lots of work. It's pretty easy once you know and memorize the normal ones. All right, let's do another example. We've got example number two. All right, this one in particular, we have 90%, 7 tenths, 73%, or sorry, 73 hundredths, and 7%. So we're going to change them all to decimals. So a percent to a decimal, you take the percent off and move the decimal two places to the right, which would give us 0 0.90. The next one, 7 tenths, 7 tenths. How do we change a decimal to a fraction? That's really easy, okay? We take our seven, we divide it by 10. 10 does not go into seven, so we add a decimal and a zero. 10 goes into 70 how many times? Well, seven, so our answer is 0.7, or it's also just seven tenths, okay? If you just read it, seven tenths. Also, 0.73 is already a decimal, and finally, 7%. 7 percent, you need to take the percent off and move the decimal two places. It's 0 0.07. Go ahead and line them straight up and down. 0 0.90, 0 0.7, 0 0.73, and 0 0.07. You want to have the same number on each one. So let's fill that with a placeholder of a zero. And now we have 90, 70, 73, and 70. This time we want to order from greatest to least. So we need to find the greatest one, which is 0 0.9, which happened to go with 90%. I'm going to cross it off. Put 90% first. What's the next one? Well, after 90 is the 73, which is 0 0.73. What's the next one? Well, 70 is bigger than 7, so we're going to go 70, which was 7 tenths. And finally, the last one, 7%. And there you go. That's your order.
greatest to least. All right, <clears throat> example number three, here we go. All right, this time, right, I know that one fourth is one quarter. One quarter is the same thing as 25%, okay? You could also have divided. 20%, take off the percent, move the decimal two places to the left. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, which would be 0.20. The next one is 3 fifths. That's 3 divided by 5. Some of you should know that one already. Put your decimal in the 0. 5 goes into 36 times. And subtract, and you're done. So that's 0.6. Okay, so that one is 0.6. And the last one is 0.22. Go ahead and line them straight up and down. 0 0.25, 0 0.20, 0 0.6, 0 0.22. Add a 0 for a placeholder. Which one happens to be the least? We're going to go least to greatest. And that would be 0 0.20, and 0 0.20 was the one that was 20%. I know that by looking right here on the left. Okay, the next one is 0 0.22, which is 0 0.22. And the next one is 0 0.25, or 2,500. Oops, sorry, I needed to write that as a fraction because that's how it was in the original problem. And the final one is 3 fifths. Ladies and gentlemen, least to greatest, circle it, you're done. All right. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your independent practice. I want you to pause the video and do these two very quickly. Do these two very, very quickly. And in just a second, I'm going to continue them and show you the answers. So pause the video, try it. Go ahead. All right. And I am back. All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and tell you five eighths, you should have gotten 0.625. Okay, it's 0 0.625, sorry, I gotta be able to write it, 0 0.625. 3 fourths is 0 0.75. 60%, you should have gotten 0 0.60 and 0 0.78, okay? <clears throat> if you wanted to order them from least to greatest, all right? You needed to go ahead and put 0 0.625, all right? You needed to put 0 0.75, 0 0.60, and 0 0.78. We need to go ahead and add zeros as placeholders. All right, the smallest one over there is 600, which happened to be 60%. So 60% comes first, followed by 5 eighths. Well, I'm going to run out of room. Then we would have 3 fourths. And the last one that you should have is 0.78. I'm going to put that down over here. All right, should have, should have given myself a little bit more room. Next one, 4 tenths is 0.4. Obviously, we have 0.45 for the next one. 1 half is 0.5, and we have 47%. Okay. So 0 0.47. All right, so what we need to have is we need to go ahead and put them straight up and down. We have 0 0.4, we have 0 0.45, we have 0 0.5, and 0 0.47. We need to add zeros as placeholders so we can see them easily. We have 40, 45, 50, and 47. We want the greatest one this time because it says greatest to least. The greatest is 50, which happened to be with 1 half. I'm going to cross it off. The next one was, the next highest one is 47. We're going to cross off the 47%. The next one we're going to do, okay, we have 45, 0 0.45, and finally the last one is the 4 tenths. And ladies and gentlemen, those are our answers. Greatest to least. You guys, you've got two to try on your own on your graphic organizer. You need to go ahead and show this to me when you are done. You have 4 fifths, 3 fourths, 40%, and 8,500 to start. Remember, the first one is least to greatest, and the second one is greatest to least. If you need any help, if you need any support, if you need anything at all, come see Mr. Williams. He'll help you out. Have a great night.